Hello scientists, I will show you how to draw Drosophilia in this video, both male and female. This tutorial was made in Inkscape. It is a free open source software, you can download it for free. If you have never used this software before, don't worry about it. I have made a free course for you, you can check out the link in the description. Without further ado, let's start the tutorial. Let me make the rectangle, I will make a second rectangle, the third one, and I elongate this. And I will align them all to the center. This. Let me squeeze it down a little bit and this needs to be a little bit longer now select all of them and path object to path let's go to the path effect and add a corner effect and switch to the added note tool select these two nodes and round them the two nodes at the bottom also round them but not as much as the top two nodes let's do the same to the second part of the body let's round the corner here and this one and the last one also path effect corner effects switch to the edit note tool and round the corner like this and then the tail part let me create a straight line Let's use the alignment tool to align the line to the center. Switch back to the edit note tool and double click on the edge of the rectangle. Then you'll be able to add a new node and just move this node all the way down. Uh, you'll be able to create a pointy end at the abdomen. Move these three notes upward a little bit shorter. Select these two notes. Use the make selected note smooth to puff it up. Let's put some color into our fruit fly body. Then we grab the gradient tool and we need a radial gradient. Just click and drag. A lighter yellow, white in the middle. And then we can just go to the fill window and the fill tab and select your previous gradients from here. That's one of the handy thing about Inkscape. It stores the gradients that you have made, so you can just pick it up from the previous library. Now let's assemble them together. So that's the body. Let's add the eyes. Grab the ellipse tool, hold Control to draw a circle, make it red. I will press Control D. Then I will make a copy that's exactly on top of the original object and select the red circle with this new additional head. That eye was way too big. Select the head and the circle intersect. Let's create the front leg. Create these very long ellipse. Second one and the third one. What about the foot? Yeah, just draw a very small ellipse. Copy one and then copy two other segments and a little bit shorter. You align them to the center. Grab your Bezier tool and create a curve line like this and reflect it and attach it go to the fill tab again click on the gradient and just select the gradient on the tab quick and easy you can rotate it like this and attach it let me move, it, move them over here let me send them to all to the back. That's one front leg. Now make a copy and just like rotate it. And now let me ungroup. You can rotate this upward. Also make it a little bit wider and place it here. And this one, spin it, make it a little bit shorter like this. And from what I saw in the example, this one is bigger. and then you can attach them onto the leg and let me group them all and I'll put them here and send it here okay let's copy the leg again spin it here I'll reflect it let me ungroup it and make this part larger elongate this send it to the back let me elongate this a little bit more too. The antenna, you can just copy the foot and place it here. And let's zoom in to adjust it. Okay, and let's adjust 
the antenna a, a, a little bit like here let's give it a few here and i'll send it to the back so it looks like it's attached and as you can see the this antenna is really thick let's make it thinner okay let me copy the legs and the antenna group them copy and paste let's reflect it horizontally and place it to the other side and you can just select both groups and align them with the alignment tool all right now it's a term of the eye let's make a copy of the eye and also flip it horizontally and place it to the other side of the head so remember to align them now the pattern of the body So let's create a stripe and we need a dark gray fill. If you want to add some volume into the abdominum, you need to convert this object to path, make selected notes smooth, and turn these notes a little bit inward. You have a little bit of curvature on the stripe, so that can create a very subtle volume. This is very subtle. Uh, not necessary, but you can create it if you want to. Okay, then just you can just copy it. Six stripes. Let me move this upward to cover the tail of the fly. And then this stripe out from here. Okay. And this one a little bit thicker. This one a little bit thicker. Okay. And they need to all come down here a little bit more. All right. And I'll add a rectangle up here and another small rectangle up here. And another one up here. Okay. Align them all to the center. Let me select these two and union this one two path union this one union switch to the edit note tool select these nodes okay this is much better and move this in one two three there you go and let's do the same for these And then same for these. These few stripes should, could be even closer. Control D to make a copy of the abdominum. Select all the stripes, group them, move the abdominum to the top. I will remove the fill and change the stroke color to red so we can see what is going on. Let's select the red outline with the stripe groups and let's go to object clip set clip and you can have the stripe group fits the abdominum perfectly i will select the pattern and decrease the opacity a little bit maybe to 75 percent uh, there are a few patterns on drosophilia let's grab our bezier tool to quickly draw them and align them to the center there you go and there's a pattern on the head the winds i'll set red as the stroke color so we can see it while we draw put the wind in front of the body just the shape of the wind a little bit okay and one of the one of the vessels here's the second one there's some connections here, over here, and the second one here. And now we can turn them to black again, and I will group the wind. I'll make a copy of the wind and flip it 
and place it on the opposite side line to the top this is a female one and we can quickly make a male one let me unlock all the layers so i can copy them first then i'll move the pattern away from the dominant let's grab our edit note tool select these three notes move these notes up and then also this note up so basically just make the dominant a little bit shorter somehow here's another pattern at the back we don't need it this note let's drag it so we can round it with the corner fillet chamfer tool and let's make a copy of it and here we release the clip we have the patterns again we only need three stripes let me delete these two and then move this one down here and this needs to be longer let's group the stripes again use the alignment tool to align them the dominant goes to the front and then let's go to object clip set clip and we can place this male pattern onto the male dominant and the winds the winds Let's move it to the top. Sex comb are important for male mating success. Something like this. Okay, parallel arcs. Group this and also again send it to the back. Copy. Flip it. Put it here. Okay, so these are our flies. That's how you draw Josephidea in Inkscape. I hope this can help you with your research. And if you want to search for more tutorials, you can check out my website, drawbalmet.com. I'm building a tutorial library for the schematic scientific illustration, and your feedback is very valuable. So check out the website and let me know what you like to see in my library. And if you want to draw more scientific illustrations, you can check out this video. I'll see you there.